I'm really interested in the genuine. You, 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 you can make something look grungy pretty easy. That's a look. But I'm interested in the genuine. I'm making these mixed media doors out of lots of different fragments of old paintings and I'm doing it like nature makes art. Nature, nature makes art with um, weather, it makes art with erosion and time and I'm, I'm doing all that in a, in a smaller way in the studio and I'm making doors because I want the doors to be entry and exit points to the real. So. It's about the real. In this age, we, um, we're very concerned with images on screens. We're really concerned with the human um, designations of right and wrong. And this information technology age, we're living in a world that is unreal. Oh, well, I take different tools, like I use power tools to grind down and I sew pieces together and then I put fluids over the different um, patches and bandages to um, congeal it again. So in that way, it's like um, different eras of my recent artistic past have been um, discovered, you know, in a different format. I, I use a lot of fluids, you know, paintings are fluid, it's liquid, and you know, like, my blood is liquid too, and the ocean is liquid, so liquid's, you know, sort of where life occurs, and um, so on the surface of my paintings, it's canvas, quite often I use a really thick base of acrylic, and um, I sort of, I feel like the acrylic paint is a medium, it holds the information, so if I press shells in it, or Maybe there's a, you know, like a fragment from around the floor, a button perhaps, or a zip from a, a pair of jeans, you know, like, I kind of draw with physical things, like, pretending they were kind of, you know, so the, the acrylic paint kind of crusts and dries, and it, it's like dirt, it becomes like a ridge line, a cliff, you know, it's like the, the earth itself, so... Yeah, sewing's like instead of making a surface on the on the top, like because surface making and image making gets really in your head, and when I sew, I'm piercing the surface. I'm going beneath. I'm I'm putting a sharp point through. I'm actually making it a membrane. So I've, I've, I'm not identifying with the surface in the image anymore. I'm actually treating it as if it's. Uh, um, you know what I mean? There's a front and a back. It's an it, it's an artifact. Then you know it becomes really physical, and I really like pushing through. And quite often I'll rip the surface of these things just to you've got to kind of pull a painting apart before it can be itself. It's like this notion of deconstruction. You know, like um, if you treat it like a piece of animal, like you know the ancients they cut up animals and there's a flank and. You know, you, you know, pig hunters and deer hunters do it here when they go walking in the mountains. So I'm trying to emulate, you know, like this ancient ritual of uh, sort of creating a body, you know. I've sort of gone into my unconscious and sort of, you know, made a skin. I call these process skins. So they're actually just um, remnants of this sort of more visceral process of uh, self-archaeology layering, yeah. Yeah, well that's the problem of art, you're performing all the time and then you're trying to undo the performer to get into a personal deep process that isn't self-conscious. So I'm always fighting the self-consciousness. It's like I'm imagining being the planet and when there's a bucket of white watered down acrylic, that's kind of like a tool, that's one method. And when I tip that on the surface of something it's almost like I'm imagining uh, a flood across the the landscape all the glaciers have just melted and there's a release of all this ancient water and the tidal flows are all different and the surface of the painting becomes this sort of um, imaginary reenactment of the surface of Gaia and then 
there might be a big bucket of sand that falls from the sky. What's that? Hey, I'm imagining that's like an asteroid impacting. And then all that white fluid, there's sort of ripples that happen. Now, when that cooks in the sun for, say, three hours, the surface of that dries, but the inside of the puddle doesn't. And then you tip it off, and there's all these linear runs. Now, that's like deltas and rivers going to the edge of the surface of the painting. So um, those... Those are just one technique base. I call that wet, wet work. Um, and some of that sand will actually stick to the um, undry acrylic, and that's permanent. But once that dries hard and crusty, like a tectonic surface of a biosphere crusts, other forces like erosion happen. Now, erosion can be mimicked by an angle grinder over the surface. Big channels cut in the surface of the scabby skin, all right? That could be like the Anthropocene. That could be like the mark making of the hominids over a 10,000 year period of civilization. And they've, they've, they've made this layered effect. And there's a technology layer in there. There might be a little bit of broken up cassette tape in there, Emmett. And this is both a symbol of some old tape that I threw away and stuck on, but at the same time, it's a, it's, a, 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 it's a remnant in the painting that signifies something. So everything has a multiple language in it. At the very fundamental level, there's an unknowable chaos of information. The information uh, pops in and out of the vacuum.
trying to come up with solutions to problems is actually the creative task. So it's like there's a certain alchemy and problem solving, like an equation that's going on. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's problem, reaction, solution. And I'm the director, I'm the perpetrator, and I'm the victim all at the same time. So it's really hard to describe, you know, there is no method, because my method changes all the time. It's very changeable, it's like the weather. There's a, a chaotic dynamic that I have a lot of different techniques, and I've got a lot of different ways of doing things that a lot of them contradict each other. So the way I do this stuff is almost like different parts of me arguing about how to do it and what it means. These different voices, and there's one part of me wants to create a seamless story that everyone is going to see a, a picture, a narrative, and a landscape, you know, and they're going to go, oh yeah, here's the sky and here's the land. Another part of me wants to make an abstract about the quantum world and the chaos field. It's, um, it's, it's a neurotic internal interplay where you become all the characters simultaneously, and the playing out loud with the physical material is just sort of some kind of reenactment of, um, of, of, of a synthesis of those characters. And another part of me wants to be the centre of a sun that's the violent epicentre of all creation and completely empowered, illuminated with brilliant, catastrophic violence. That is creation. Another part of me wants to be a gentle tide that goes out under the full moon, and it's beautiful and it's silver. Another part of me wants to sleep in in my yellow pyjamas. <laughs>